Here's the last example of first order linear differential equations that all work out. After this in the notes I'll include some extra examples that you can use for practice and the answers are posted after that as well. So you should go through and practice those to make sure that you understand and can work out similar problems. This one is our first example where it's not written exactly in the standard form. So we have to do one step first to rewrite it in the form that first order linear problems are traditionally written in. y prime plus p of x times y equals q of x. So the one thing we need to fix here is this x that's multiplied by y prime. We just need to divide every term by that. So we'll have y prime minus 2 over x times y equals x. Now we can pick out p of x. Notice that's negative 2 over x. Notice the negative sign carefully because the standard form has y prime plus p of x so we need to account for that negative. And that means that our integrating factor will be e to the integral of negative 2 over x dx, which is e to the negative 2 ln of x. And at this point, this is one step that we haven't seen on this type of problem yet, but we need to take advantage of one of those rules for logarithms, the power rule specifically. This is one that you may have forgotten, but if you look back at your pre-calculus, you'll remember that with logarithms there are several rules, one of which says that this negative 2 can be moved up to the power, and this can be rewritten as e to the ln of x to the negative 2. And the reason for doing that is that now the e and the ln cancel, and we just have x to the negative 2 power. Again, if you've forgotten that power rule, you might need to go back and review, but that's a handy one when you need to simplify exponents like this. So our integrating factor is x to the negative 2, or 1 over x squared if you like. So when we multiply that through, the left side will automatically equal that integrating factor times y prime, and the right side will be x times 1 over x squared, which is simply 1 over x. Now we can integrate both sides, and integrating 1 over x gives us ln of x plus c. And then we can multiply both sides by x squared to solve for y. And there's our final answer. So this one had a little bit of tricky algebra. First of all, we had to rewrite it in the standard linear form, and then along the way finding the integrating factor we had to take advantage of that power rule for logarithms, but other than that it followed the same format of the other problems we've seen. So first order linear problems are a fairly standard form. They tend to follow the same pattern over and over again. So after you've done a few of them, the rest shouldn't give you too much trouble.